It's that time of the year for my yearly manga collection video update. I am currently sitting at just over 1800 volumes. Technically I'm actually just below, I'm at like 1790 something, but that's English volumes. When you account the Japanese volumes I have, it puts me just over. 1800 volumes. Oh, and I have now officially been collecting and reading manga for nine whole years. Holy dooly. And I don't really want to make these manga collection video updates, but I, I, I'm, 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 it, 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 I have to. It's mandated. It's sort of out of my control. The higher up execs demand it a yearly update video because I mean I hate them it's gonna be long it's gonna be boring it's just ugh, but it has the potential to get to get new people to watch so I'm forced by the higher ups to make these videos so this is my 2024 manga collection update um yeah I don't let's let's not drag it out let's just get into it it's also manga Tuesday episode 173 or is it 174 I think it's 174 anyways without without anyways enough yibber yabber and oh I'm the notorious DRC now enough yibber yabber and, and let's get to the collection in about 7.49278 seconds Baka. Ba -ba boom Let's begin. Where to begin? Uh, astute viewers may notice there's a few, few changes this time. There's a this white bookcase has been swapped for a black one, and I've added shelves to it. And this one's had shelves added to it, and I've double stacked in places and different places. And there's another bookcase in a completely different room. But I think we'll start where we always start with this new beautiful black. Oh, I like the black. I like how we got a rice mix of colors now it's a real mismatch we've got a white one over there and a white one over there and we've got these two uh wood ones but they're both different colors from each other we've got the blue desk but then with the green topper thing on top of it and then we've got this other wood colored one but it's not real wood and it's a different color again and there's a, a, a skinny one over here white one that's just got books on it not manga but uh, anyway let's get without <laughs> without any further ado Let's just get started. I'm going to try and go quicker than usual, maybe. We'll see how that goes. Up on the top shelf here, we have all 37 volumes of... Oh, 37. Am I a retarded? 31 volumes of Slam Dunk, a beautiful shonen sports manga. We also have all 12 volumes of School Live, plus the spin-off School Live Letters, which I've still yet to read. Um, I really need to... I think I need to, like, reread the... The original series is a refresher, and just because it's great anyway, I need to reread it, and then maybe I'll read that. Both of these are like top 15 mangas of all time, my favourites. Anyway, I got the Viz Manga sampler there, I got, because why not? And then coming on down, we got all, here we go, here we have all 37 volumes of Manji, another phenomenal manga if you want to know anything more about a manga that i mentioned other than me saying hey this manga is really good <laughs> if you see something you're interested in comment and let me know and i can go into further detail <laughs> for you we have all seven volumes of sherlock bones which is on an indefinite hiatus it's over and then coming on down we got death note guy and death note gal and then we have donuts under a crescent moon four volume yui series transparent light blue one volume yui series that i haven't read cats and sugar bowl a yui series that was a collection of short stories i can't remember i've read it though secret of the princess is a really good yui series that i need to reread to see just how good it is i remember being spectacular even eve is a collection of yui short stories that are not so great. Kasi-san. The first five volumes of the original series. And then the series just sort of continued right where it left off. But technically a new series. Kasi-san and Yamanda. Volume 1, 2, 3. Another very great and a classic vintage staple Yuri series. Anyways, if you didn't know, I'm a bit of a Yuri connoisseur. Uh, Uzaki-chan, 11 volumes. That's all that's out now. It's fine. New game. 
13 volumes. Um, it's a really good four coma series. Up there we have The Liminal Zone by Junji Ito. Uh, oh, Jojo Jo, uh, two omnibuses. It's a really good, it's a really good series, specifically the first two volumes. Oh, it's also a four coma, another top tier four. Oh, speaking of top tier four comas, Kenoro Mosaic. Kenoro Mosaic is another fantastic manga. 11 volumes plus the one volume spin off. Really love that funny, cute little series. Ran in the Grave Volume 1, I got for cheap because i really like the cover look how cool that fucking cover is that's a fucking cool cover anyway maybe it's good i don't know junji ito's cat diary fuck that fucking junji ito cunt i'm fucking chilling uh down here on the next shelf i think it's getting time i might drop to my knees Ugh, homunculus all 10 volumes in omnibus form i just actually read that recently it's really good uh, it's weird in ways i can understand why some people wouldn't like it, Some, especially one one part in particular that happens kind of early on. But there's also some other parts that happen early on that, even though they aren't too weird, I mean, they are pretty weird, but I don't know. It's <laughs> yeah, I, 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 As a whole, I think it's really good, although I think I might actually prefer Itchy the Killer, which is getting an official release sometime, I think, next year, which is cool. Uh, Yokohama Kashiya Kikuriyaki, uh, all five volume... Uh, Omnibus is also a complete series, haven't read it though. In this corner of the world, haven't read it. Haru's Curse, that was pretty good I think. The Girl I Want is So Handsome, Yui, was pretty mediocre. Uh, oh, here we've got a string of light novels. The Mimosa Confessions, The Tunnel to Summer, Riku Can't Be a Goddess, which I just read not too recently, finished. I Will Forget This Feeling Someday by the great Yoru Samino. I Had That Same Dream Again by the great Yoru Samino. Unknown if it's a female or a male. Don't tell me you know. It's unknown. I Am Blue in Pain and Fragile. Haven't read it. I Want to Eat Your Pancreas. I've only read the manga version by the great Yoru Samino. At Night I Become a Monster by the great Yoru Samino. I've read very recently, even more recently than Riku Kami I Goddess. Uh, what, are, what are these ones called? Uh, to Every You Have Loved Before, and To Me, The uh, the One Who Loved You. Uh, two, these are two novels that, um, ah, fuck, why did I get on my knees? I should have just stood up and crouched for this part. Oh, oh, I'm in pain already. It's, oh, it's Jova. <laughs> these two came out on the same day, originally in Japan, and when they were translated. And you can read them in any order. They're connected. There's... Uh, there's parallel, there's a whole parallel universe theme and stuff going on, but they're connected, but you can read them in any order. I read this one first, and then this one. Because this one, I don't know, the pinkish cover, it made it look more like it sh should be the second book, so I was like, I'm going to read it first. And I, I like that. Anyway, the whole humanity has gone Yui, except for me. I bought that very recently, IRL in a store, but I have not read it. Now we're going to sit down. I got no, no, not my dear friend Nogatan uh, full. Ugh. Obviously, the anime come out recently, and so that's where I heard about it. I haven't actually watched the anime, but I've seen a few clips, and the clips enough were alone for me to, like, let me get the first few volumes, read it, and see what it's like, but I haven't read it yet. Anyway, I feel like I'm talking too much, but also not enough, but <laughs> whatever. Uh, we've got the Silent Voice box set, a beautiful little box set. It's better than the big, giant collected editions that have ugly covers. Ugly ass fuck. Look at these ugly ass fucking covers. This beautiful, this side of the box set in particular is really just a beautiful, beautiful display of art. I really like the way the book, the books, pop on this black shelf. Anyway, we got uh, all twenty one volumes of Dragon Ball Super. There might be another one out that I haven't got yet. I've read up to about here ish. We got the day I got reincarnated as Yamcha spin off thing. I kind of hated it. Uh, we got Sandland, which is pretty good. And we got Kawa, which is pretty good as well. We got Jucko, which is pretty alright as well. We got the first three volumes of Dr. Slum, which I haven't read. We got Touring After the Apocalypse, two volumes. I Love You So Much, I Hate You as a Yui. Breasts are my favourite things in the world, all eight volumes. It is now Completo. It's an okay Yui, I guess. It's fun at times. Kiam on down. We got Sumo Mo 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 Some of these have stickers on them. Twelve volumes by the creator of Magi. It's pretty. It's actually a pretty good manga. When I read the first couple of volumes, I was like, particularly the first one, I was like, oh god, I need to, I need to stop buying complete sets of manga of stuff blindly with having no idea what it is. This is oh my god, I'm fucked up. This is oh, I'm a fucking idiot. But I kept reading. 
And then about here, you know, it actually started, got pretty good, you know. So sometimes it was actually a lesson that I can just blindly buy stuff because I'm a genius who never gets it wrong. And uh, more of a lesson in give things a chance sometimes. Even if it's a little bit of a rough start, you give things a bit of a chance to breathe and it ends up as a pretty decent solid series. Anyway, then we got all uh, 24 volumes of One Punch Man. I'm definitely at least a couple volumes behind the latest release. I also haven't read any of these. I've only read the first two volumes and I've watched the first season of the anime, but I'll uh, read it one day. <laughs> love Me, Love Me Not, My Love Story Volume 1, Cheerful Amnesia 4 volumes. It's a Yui series. I think there's only going to be five or six volumes and that's the end, but it's okay, I guess. <clears throat> Coming on now, we got the Freeman Volume 1, which everyone raves about, but I haven't read, but I'll, I'll get more volumes and read it eventually. I kind of been asking you which everyone raves about, but I haven't read, but I got four volumes, but I'll read it eventually. Which are Micro Room, which, I don't know, it just looks really interesting. It looks like it's really up my alley, but I haven't read that first volume. Uh, we got Double J W Juliet that I just got so I could have a manga starting with W. Uh, we got One Pound Gospel, four volumes. Apparently, I think Volume 4 is really hard to get now, so... Suck it, losers. I already had it. <laughs> the manga's... It's only okay, I guess. Uh, Buso Rankin, 10 volumes. The manga's okay, I guess. Uh, that Blue Sky Feeling, volume one, but I think there's only one volume. Was it cancelled? Why is it... I don't know. I haven't read it. I just bought it very recently because it was cheap. IRL. Whispered Words. Uh, three volume Omnibus, making my purchase of W. Juliet a unnecessary thing um i have a lot of i have it, it's 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 objectively a very i think well done well told captivating story for the most part i have some grievances with it which i've talked about before but we won't get into that now i want to eat your pancreas the complete manga collection i had that same dream again the complete manga collection should be next to it but it must be somewhere else uh, Mayo Chicky Omnibus, uh, you will finish reading that one day. My new life as a cat, uh, smoking behind the supermarket with you. Do not smoke. Uh, we here at Manga Tuesday do not support smoking, but we have two volumes of this. And Defrag one volume. Coming on down, we have this little fella. But over here, we do have some manga. Uh, we have the third volume of the Helsing Omnibus. The rest are over there, but we'll, we'll get to them later. Uh, we got Act Age, Volume 1, and Toriko, Volume 38, which I got for... A video I bought them specifically for the Manga Tuesday a couple of a couple of Manga Tuesdays ago. If you know, you know. Grimm's Manga Tales, Blade of the Moon Princess. I haven't read this, but I don't know. The cover looks really good, even though reviews are not so much. It's only like four volumes total, so I don't know. Maybe I'll read that first one and see if it's good and decide if I want to get the rest or not. Ah, God bless the mistake in volume one by the great uh you Nakatino Nino, uh, the creator of uh Blooming You, but I haven't read this yet. It's got another avenues, Days of Life of the Seagull Villa, that's a Yui. And behind here we have a couple of others. I have my Western Bulldogs autograph book filled with old autographs. Uh, we also have Rohan at the Louvre. Louvre. Uh, the Last of the Mohicans, which is a really nice release, but a pretty bang shit manga. And we have the Isle of Dogs. Uh, it's a pretty good movie. The manga version of Isle of Dogs I haven't read, so I can't can't speak to its quality um anyway let's just take you for a little wonder oh here actually we have another shelf just in the hallway this is sort of a spare shelf at the moment uh and here we have these sort of manga that i have duplicates of so i need to just list them on ebay and sell them but i just am lazy haven't got around to it i've taken pictures of them i just got to yeah, I've also got the Vampires, but it's like a German one. I thought it was English. I didn't realize. I kind of, I should have actually like complained. It's kind of a fuckery, but whatever. Anyways, but in my room here with a bed unmade and a phone. Wait a minute. What am I filming on then? Do you like my wallpaper? Anyways, so in here we have another shelf. We actually also have this shelf here, which is just for figurines, but we won't look at that today. That's for my figure collection video that will never get made. Anyway, down there is just some old books from my childhood, some of them. So we'll start over here. 
Uh, we've got High School Girl, five volumes. The Girl with the Sun Paku Eyes, one volume. Hell's Paradise, two volumes. I need to get the rest of that and read it. Insomniacs After School, three, four volumes I have. Uh, I need to get more of that and start reading it. Boys Abyss, two volumes. Coffee Moon, one volume. Rooster Fighter, one volume. Land of the Lustrious, one volume. Sweetness and Lightning, one volume. Shoulder of Coffin Kuro, all seven volumes plus the one volume spin off, but I'm missing volume six, which is impossible to find. And uh, it's a four coma I haven't read, but I've heard really good things about it. And I really want to read it, but uh, I should just read it and I'll just have to find that six volume online, hopefully. Claudine, Spirit of Wonder, um, My Senpai's Annoying, two volumes, Doomsday with My Dog. Called, I don't even fucking know what that says. You can read that. Sayonara Football, one volume, and then Sayonara Football, Dear Kramer, Farewell, My Dear Crack Cosmo, uh, 3, 7, and 14. I don't know. I can't figure out what the deal with the series is how released. If Sayonara Kramer is like a spin off sequel, which is, I think, maybe in English, is it possible that the first two volumes of Sayonara are actually, actually include the original Sayonara volumes? Football, which might only be a few volumes. I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm starting thinking. I don't know. Something about it when I was looking into it was confusing me, but I, it looks kind of cool, actually. I kind of want to read it. It just looks like, yeah. Uh, so, <clears throat> imagine that a book I bought that I want to read. What, what a concept, but also I haven't read it. Uh, Atom Cat. A Atom Cat, like Atom Boy, but like a Tom Cat. Oh, Tezuka was cooking with that one. I'm sorry for saying cooking. Uh, Tokyo Babylon 1 Volume Monthly with the Gar Landlord Yui Volume 1. Uh, Boki the Rock Von Volume. Uh, Kimono Friends. Uh, wel is it Welcome to Japari Park? Or what is this one? Alakata. I don't know. Some other Kimono Friends spin off. Uh, Little Witch Academia 3 Volumes. Sakamoto Days. Uh, don't worry about that. Coming up here, we have Welcome to Demon School. Irumikun. 3 Volumes. Uh, I don't know. I don't know which is love, two volumes of you series, the girl I like forgot her glasses, the spike I like forgot her glasses, one volume, we've got five volumes of this manga, which I've been meaning to rule Manga Tuesday on for well over a year now, the boy who cried wolf tells a lie today also, literal title, uh, it's five volumes, this is the, the Japanese one, it doesn't have a physical English release, hopefully maybe one day, and also hopefully maybe one day within the next month i will actually review it maybe at this point it's been so long i should actually probably reread it just to refresh my thoughts i know my main thoughts and points that i wanted to make for a, a manga tuesday review of it i still seem to remember most of them i think anyway the girls on the other side boy meets maria kuma 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 bear my neighbor totoro four volumes a fucking thing of the thingamajig uh, and then some other shit um this is a lot of just the spare shit and stuff i haven't started reading hidden away in here <laughs> buddha one volume need to get more of them and read it osama tezuka's princess knight train man that's a novel uh book thing uh dimension w three volumes i got these because they were cheap the three of them but they actually glow in the dark the the yellow parts of the cover and the spines glow in the dark, which is just kind of really cool. <laughs> that's why, that's literally why I got it. I don't know if the manga's any good. It's probably cool enough too. Uh, Zatch Bell, I definitely got that just so I had a manga starting with Z. The Prince of Tennis, one volume. Uh, I don't even, was it Cover First Love? Ten volumes I got because that's the full series and it was going for pretty cheap. Uh, it doesn't really look like it'll, I don't know if I'll like it much. Maybe I should just, I'll, I'll probably read it one day and then maybe just, Maybe I'll actually just sell the whole series. Haikyuu. I've been slowly collecting the volumes because I want to read it. Uh, someone gifted me this because he looks cool. Um, so I just need to get more of them. Eventually I'll have all of them and then I'll binge read the whole thing. Sex at 120%. Oh, don't hack. Uh, wants to shine, actually. Ha and Happy Sugar Life. Is this actually a novel? Oh, no. Maybe it's a manga spin-off from a novel or something. I, I didn't realise. I bought it cheap. And then I think I realised it's connected to another series that I might need to read before reading that. Oh, I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, that's all for in here. So, let's head back to the main room. Oh, I guess we'll look at this. Oh, there's Just Like Mona Lisa, one volume. I'll actually look down here while we're, while we're going back in. 
Kitchen Princess, four volumes, the complete omnibus. So that, uh, the first three, Asteroid Boy omnibuses, plus uh, volume six of the singles, just because in the Legend of Zelda box it down there that I'll never read. Because of why did I even buy it? And over here we have the first four Pokemon Adventure box sets. Uh, yeah. Uh, and over here we have me. Whoa. <laughs> um, where to go next? You know what? Let's just go for this shelf right next to the black one. We'll just go over uh, here. Go all the way up here. We have the Chainsaw Man box set. Someone gifted that to me for Christmas. I didn't buy it on my own, guys. I hate. I still hate Chainsaw Man. Okay, guys. I despise it. I'm a Chainsaw Man hater. It was gifted to me, so I had the first box set. But that was against my will, okay? Um, now, let's see. Uh, I can't see what have we got up here. How do I turn my best friend into my girlfriend? Sounds like a Yui Sakurai chan wants to be noticed. Four Warren's complete series. Uh, some, uh, something wants to, I don't know. I can't read it from down here. I'm too, I'm too short, guys. I'm trying... I'm trying, but and I'm trying to read on the phone screen because I can't even see up here. Look, maybe I should have stood on the, the chair. Uh, the, the, the Summer You Were There, four volumes. It's a Yui series. I think there's six in total, so I'm just going to wait till I get them all and then read it. Oh, here's the first three volumes of my dear friend Nokatatan. Uh, Nirvana, two, three, and four. I think I got a few of these in a store, IRL, for very cheap, and I think there's only four volumes total. So that's why I just started to get them, but I think I ordered volume one online cheap just to finish it off, but I don't know where the fuck it is. Maybe it hasn't arrived yet. Maybe I should look into that. Fatari Escape, uh, two volumes. Ultra Kill, two volumes. I also got in store cheap. How Heavy Are the Dumbbells? You leave three volumes. And Kuma Mika Bear, eight volumes, which actually, the there's more volumes but it seems like they've stopped printing it in english which is unfortunate anyway moving on down to another yui shelf we have nameless asterism five volumes which is basically a yui even though it, on mal it's not officially tagged as one but it's it, 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 for good reasons but i think it's a really good manga actually and i even though a lot of people might find the ending unsatisfying i actually really enjoy it and uh, people will say like well we just ended up where we began to an extent, or there was no growth, but there was, okay, there wasn't a, spoiler alert, there wasn't a, a concrete relationship development, you know, two characters didn't get together, but it was their minds there, they went, they, they all, all of them matured and went on a journey and reached a sort of inner peace amongst themselves and resolved a lot of brewing conflicts, even though there were still many unrequited feelings of romance between different characters in a big jumble of things, but um, I think it's a really beautiful manga. I think it's a good, you know, not every manga just has to end with the stock standard ending where they get together. <laughs> uh, you know, anyways, <laughs> Gakuen Polizi by the goddess of Yui Manga Milk. That's her name, Milk. Uh, that one's not one of her best, but it's okay still. Uh, now loading uh, Yui Mungo. Um, uh, I know my parents shut my best friends up. Yui Hana and Hina after school, three volumes. Yui, I'm sort of over it already. My energy is depleted. I, I sort of can't be bothered anymore. I might just, yeah, we might just do a two shelf, two bookcase collection video. We might not do the rest once we after we finish this one. Uh, kisses, size and cherry blossom pink. Uh, so Yui girlfriends, uh, the Yui, a Yui classic by Milk. Um, Strawberry Panic, the manga collection and the, the novel collection. I've only read the manga. It ends in a bit of a weird spot. I don't know if the novel continues on. It must somewhat. For our time is a beautiful Yui manga. One of my favorites. One of my top five easily. It seems to be somewhat underrated on Mal, in my opinion. I think the manga's really good, even though there's a couple of things around the ending that a little bit could have been a little bit better, but they're still, overall, I think it's just a really nice sweet epic read our wonderful days three volumes is also really good yui series chill uh uh kashimashi five volumes which is complete i got the singles not the omnibus 
really good another beautiful yui manga that's in my top five i i've talked about it before in a video and went into great detail so if you want to hear more detail on that then go watch that like me for who i am five volumes it's uh, not a yui but it's yeah uh, teachers are dating four volumes it is a yui but it's yeah failed princesses six volumes it's a yui it's pretty good it's a little overly dramatic but i guess a lot of yuis are anyway down on here we have where we always usually start the grand hunter hunter shelf and we've added some figurines to it since last time so obviously we got the the japanese volume one and we got all 37 volumes in english 38 will be uh not too far away maybe another six months before we get it in english uh we have what do we got here the, the hunter guidebook thingamajig we got the volume zero and then we got some volumes of Magin, the volume of crash bandicoot in japanese but we've also got all these figures we got our little phantom troop set up here we got p2 and uh ikalgo epic man we got our little greed island gang here um and then we got some Got a bunch of other stuff up. The camera's going all fucky. Anyways, what am I doing? This isn't a figure collection. This is a manga collection. We're going to move on down to here. I've double stacked the shelf here. Because it's the middle shelf and I think it's got a bit more support. Maybe. But we've double stacked up. Let's. I'm not, I'm not undouble stacking. So we're just going to look in the back here. No Game Loan Life 1 volume, Toradora 2 volumes, Evergreen 4 volumes, that's complete, Crisis Girl 2 volumes, that's complete, I got it in store IRL because it was cheap, uh, Red Riding Hood and the Big Sad Wolf 2 volumes complete, haven't read it, Goodbye My Rose Garden 3 volume, USC has read it, I think I turned my childhood friend into a girl, Rot Row, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, did I miscount? No, 6, it's ongoing, I've read all of it up to date, I Hungry For You, Endo, Yasuki, it's a Yui series I haven't read. Slumbering Booty, two volumes I bought because it was super cheap, IRL in store too. And I've read it, two volumes is complete. It's actually a pretty nice story. It's, you know, it's short and simple, but uh, the first volume in particular was very nice. Uh, please Go Home, Miss Suzuki chan a bunch of volumes that I haven't read yet, but it seems like it could be potentially on my own. High School Girls six seven eight nine volumes which is kind of complete but then she come back like 10 years later and made another three or four volumes that are not in english and can't even be found scans anywhere online i've also got two volume one so i need to take one of those out to sell uh <laughs> my cute little kitten two volumes that's milk's latest series in english school zone which in English is actually School Zone Girls, but you can't see it. School Zone's a better name. It doesn't need the girls. Anyway, I've got all uh, five volumes. It's on hiatus, unfortunately. It's actually a really good Yui series. Someone online, on, I think it was on Mal, one of the one of the top reviews, is trashing it, saying it's shit. And at the end of the review, they're like, oh, maybe if you like that trash Watamote, you would like this shit. And I'm like... I love Watamote. It's one of my favorite mangas of all time. I'm gonna, you've reinforced my interest in this manga. And yeah, it is really good. I really like it. Um, hopefully, they. it's very unresolved, though. There's a lot of different story threads with different characters. That it's, it's not, it does not end in a satisfying way at all. So hopefully, the mangaka, mangaka comes back to it at some point. Anyway, the front of the double stack, we have... Strawberry Marshmallow 5 volumes. We have Futui Bay 10 volumes, which is complete, which means I can finally read this four coma Yui series, but I still haven't done it yet. Still Sick is a three volume Yui series, which is really good. We have Watamote 23 volumes. Uh, is 24 out yet, or is 23 the latest one? Maybe I ordered 24 and it just hasn't arrived yet, or maybe I ordered 23 and it just arrived not too a couple of weeks ago i don't know i can't remember anyway it's really good but it's really dragging out uh, around somewhere here is the story starts to change a bit and i'm fine with the change but now we've had like more of the change the new era the tomoko with friends era more than the original era and the original era is what made the manga original and what made it super interesting and while the the new stuff is also still sometimes interesting and it's pretty good to see around here is it started dragging out way too much and now it's just like you know we rushed through the first like two years way too quickly 
specifically the first like year and a half way too quickly and now the third year it's like we're not even halfway through and it's been like heaps and it's just dragging out and the recent chapters with every new recent chapter most of them it's like i feel like this is just hurting the series i'm gonna have to consider dropping it from a 10 to a 9 on my mal ranking but i'm it's uh yeah it kind of just needs to wrap up i wish it would die a dignified death but it just keeps dragging out and there's the occasional good chapter still but overall it's frustrating me with its direction anyway we've got a mortal rain um seven and eight are swapped for some reason uh we got one volume of sergeant fog we've got this manga which isn't actually a manga it's like a spanish original manga so it's not actually a manga but it's a yuri but it's actually really good uh see you tomorrow in the food court is also really good and uh oh in my, i did a review on it and i said that it was finished with one volume because this isn't a volume one anywhere i thought it was finished and i think it did go on hiatus for a while but it's actually not finished there's more chapters online and they're still coming out anyway it's time to shut down right here we have one volume of the the other volume of the crash bandicoot manga i'm gonna put you down on the ground for now uh, Yui is my job, 10 volumes. I had one volume for ages and then never read it, but then someone was selling the first 10 volumes online for super cheap altogether, so I got it. So now I have two volume ones. The other one was out in the hallway that you might have saw before, so I need to sell it. I also need to... I haven't actually started to read this. So, uh, what's... what's what, Why would you read manga that you buy? That's just silly. When will Ayumu make his move? All 17 volumes, which the series is now complete, and I have read all 17 volumes. Why is the 17th volume so much darker the spine than the others? I don't know. I, I can't say no to The Lonely Girl. I've read all six volumes online when it was can't defy the lonely girl but yeah it's now officially getting an english release so once all the physical volumes are out in english i'll probably reread the series from start to finish it's a really good little cute you series i will give it my all tomorrow tell me about it pal all five volumes goodbye eerie it's really good rin chen now four volumes complete i can't remember if i've read this or not i thought i had read it all but then on mal Forever it's been, a, I put it on hold after reading only one volume, but I'm like, I swear I read more. And then I checked the other day and I found like, I think I found a bookmark in the start of, yeah, start of volume three. So did I read the first two volumes and not the rest? I can't fucking remember, but I remember it also not being that good, which is why I haven't just started from the start and just read it all just to make sure that I've read it. It was, it wasn't terrible though, I don't think. It was okay. Rin Kagamine's a... Nice character. Anyway, we've got the Hatsune Muni mix, which I've... The, the, the what? What did I just say? <laughs> I have read this one. I've also got the Hatsune Miku Everyday Vocal of Poe Four Volumes that I have read. And we also got Four Volumes of Azamanga Dao, the singles from ADV, which I haven't read. I only read the Yen Press Omnibus. Anyway, coming on down here, we got uh, Sweet Blue Flowers, Four Volumes. It's a Yui series. It's pretty good but i don't actually remember much about it one volume of x that i definitely bought so i could have a volume that starts with x we got alice in borderland i think the last volume came out in english pretty recently so i need to get more because i'm all i'm pretty confident that i'll like that i don't need to read the first one to see initial d i uh yeah the initial d is getting re-released that's that happened <laughs> handsome girl and sheltered girl is this the worst manga collection video ever i think this is worse than the last one which came out super late and was titled the worst manga collection video ever this one i just feel like i, I thought i was i wanted to make it now i just literally don't care anyway mermaid scales in the town of sand um it's a good little two volume series collected into one volume uh, the Moon on a Rainy Night, Silver Spoon, Citrus, Tomorrow, The Birds by Tezuka, Maiden Railways, a nice collection of short stories that kind of interconnect in the same world. It's nice. Um, up there we have Words Bubble, like it's a book, so it doesn't count. Wake Up, Sleeping Beauty, Boy 6 I got online for cheap because it was like $2 on a site when I was buying some other stuff. Volume 6 of some mung... Uh, like, what? I might as well just throw that in the trash. Anyways... The girl that can't get a girlfriend, some Yui sh shit. Yui <laughs> Yusumi, one volume. Puppisits, puppisits, pup, puppisits. 
attract one volume. I just bought it in a store recently because it looked like something. Uh, with a dog and a cat, every day is fun. Lucky Star, seven volumes. I bought volume eight from somewhere and it never showed up and I had to get my money back. And now it's not only impossible to find, but it's like if you find one, it's, someone's asking for $1,000, it's like, hey, go fuck yourself. It's not even that good, to be honest. It's a four como. Um, that's not why it's not good. I love four comas. But I, I started reading and I read like the first volume and I don't know. I was like, oh, whatever. Like maybe I should just watch the anime. I married... My female friends, two volumes. The ladies on top, two volumes. I read the first one and it wasn't that great. It wasn't exactly what I was hoping for, so I don't know if I'll buy any more. I guess I'll read volume two eventually and from there I will decide. Run away with me, girl, three volumes. Yui series. She loves to cook. She loves to eat three volumes. Yui series. Monologue woven for you, three volumes of Yui series. One of these is cooked. It has like, it repeats the same chapter a couple of times and then it doesn't have the other one I actually had to get it up online was it volume two i don't know anyway five seconds before which falls in love one volume uh it's uh i think it's got actually kind of like two short stories in it but it's separated by whatever to your eternity one volume coming on down Look. on the bottom shelf here we have all 13 volumes of berserk there was a 14th volume and when I finally get that 14 volume, maybe then I will finally read the Berserk, which I have never read. Fuck you, Berserk. Take that. Number one on Mal. How about unread? Ta <laughs> we, we got two volumes of the Helsing Omnibus. Very nice looking Omnibus. Even Maybe even a little nicer looking than the Berserk one. Uh, and then we saw volume three before. Hidden around the corner. Now I'm going to stand up and we'll go somewhere else. Where would you like to go next? Position. All right, I just took a shit and splashed water in my face. I'm re-energized, but I'm also still taking too long, so I need to start speed running this. Speaking of which, there was another one I forgot in this other room over here. I have, ooh, we need a light on. The Pandora Hearts box set. Oh, my God. Holy shit. Is that the most beautiful thing you ever saw in the world? Anyway, you can see that one more in my top five box sets video. Back to the room, and we're going to go straight over to this... Shelf over here, up the top here, we got the P to 10 box set and then the rest of the volumes here, so, uh, what is it, six, uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, full series, uh, we got an Elite Trainer box, Pokemon Celebration, still sealed, we got Rin Shima, chilling with the Totoros, um, Snow White with the red hair, <laughs> You all you'll know my opinions on uh, red hair. Laid Back Camp behind Rin Shima, because she's from Laid Back Camp cool looking character oh i just uh 14 volumes i just purchased 15 online like yesterday so it'll be here in a month pokemon secret jungle pokemon mewtwo strikes back pokemon journeys four volumes tropical visions for snow yui but kinder but not really but kinder nine volumes eclair collection of yui short stories strawberry fields once again three volumes yui Madam Gordon, one volume, Yui Esbar, three volumes of Yui Rumna, one half, Genie Hero, uh, Yama, Yama, Yama and the Seven Witches, two volumes, Rainbow Dance, one volume, Yoshinoko, one volume, Soma Spider, so what? The manga version, one volume, Small Ame, Hosokai manga. <clears throat> Coming on down, we got Toma Chan as a girl, eight volumes, complete series, four coma, Bloom into You, eight volumes, wonderful manga, top five all time, it's a Yui. Uh, we got the Bloom Into You uh, Saya regarding Seiki Saya novel spin-off, sort of prequel and sequel, I think, if I understand. I haven't actually read that. I guess I should read that at some point. And the Bloom Into You Anthologies collection of sort of short little stories by different authors that I have read. Non Non Biori, 16 volumes, which is another beautiful manga I love, plus the little spin-off one that isn't in English, maybe never will be, so I got the Japanese one. I haven't actually read this. The scan's online, but, you know, once I read that, it's over, over. That'll be the last non non biori, you know, new non non biori content I'll ever get. So, I'm just putting it off, but, I mean, I've put it off for 
years now. I might as well just read it. Uh, rip, skip, and then here we have Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. Uh, I don't know if I'm up to date or not. 13 volumes, and then Kana's Daily Life, 10 volumes, and then Alma's Office Diary, 6 volumes. And now we've even got Fafner the Recluse, 2 volumes. It's getting out of control, this Dragon Maid shit. But I'm in too deep now. But Alma's cute. Uh, Mob Psycho 101 volume, and then some other Manga Dao shit. Here we have DRCL 2 volumes, because I... Oh, that's the good one. Because I destroyed one when I didn't even mean to, like an idiot. When did that happen? Here we have my Yotsuba Volume 1 collection. It is my collection of Yotsuba Volume 1. Um, let me take a seat down here. Uh, then we have the rest of Yotsuba, including two Volume 5s, because we ripped one for the Funhouse match, because it was slightly water damaged anyway. Uh, then we have My Name is Seki, 10 volumes, which is a phenomenal anime, but the manga is really good too. I really like it. It's a, it's a great, fun little comedy series. There's also a spin-off uh, that I've got one volume of. I got volume two, though, because that was available at the time. In Japanese, it does not have an English release. Unfortunately, it might never get an English release. But the scan's online, but I haven't read them yet, because I just haven't. Nichiju, 10 volumes, which was complete until he decided to come back after he finished City. And now there's an 11th volume, and I think it's still going. Sickness Unto Death, 2 volumes, which is actually a really good, you know, short little series. Uh, Miku Bon, another Miku manga. She and Her Cat, The Garden of Words, both by that one guy, Spike Loves. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up, I need to, I just need to, I'm just chilling. <sighs> Take a breath. <sighs> Flying witch. One <laughs> Okay, we have 100 Tales by Osama Tezuka. Miss Kobayashi Dragon Maid in colour, one volume. They made another one of them, but I didn't really need the first one. The Dragon Maid needs to chill out. It's getting out. There's too much Dragon Maid, okay? It's okay, it's not that good. And Frank Manga. I did a review on that. You can watch that if you want to hear my thoughts on that. Uh, Welcome Back Alice, volumes one and three. I think I got both of those online at different times because they were cheap. Uh, the series looks interesting. I need to get some more of it though. We got Bomber by Tezuka. It has these deckled edges. Uh, I, went on, I went on about the deckled edges last manga collection video, even though it got sped up and you couldn't, you couldn't read it. I couldn't hear it, but I, I can't be bothered going. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, this Japanese Azamanga there, I think I'm a jig. The Book of Human Insects. What's this? Another Japanese manga. Oh, Hanging Out of a Gamer Girl. That's actually should be called. What's. I feel like it's like Sometimes Reality's a Lie or something. I don't know. Uh, it was actually really good, but I read it back in like 2020 ish and got up to. Like, I caught up to date, but then I just didn't keep reading it when new chapters come out. So I'm like way behind. So I should just read it online at some point. Uh, we got the Vagabond Volume 37. We got Little Leo, which is actually a really good, you know, quick, funny little manga. I really like it. Fruits Basket Ultimate Edition. I got both of these for $10 a piece. Um, I should just sell them. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, oh, we got the Hamtaro manga. Oh, I love. I'm so glad I was able to get them. You can find a full manga Tuesday on that. Anyway... <clears throat> Let's um let's do the the Manga Tuesday backdrop shelves. Seems like a seems like a good place to go. Up there we have the Full Metal Alchemist box set and the Claymore box set, both complete box sets that complete the whole series. I've read both of them and they're both phenomenal shonen mangas. Uh, I think Full Metal Alchemist is probably slightly better, but uh, Claymore is really good too. <laughs> Coming on down here, we have oh we have. The graded manga that I, f <laughs> you can you can see more about that in that that episode. Uh, we have this thing as a manga day. I think I need to do a manga Tuesday on sort of unboxing this. This is really cool. Oh, it's got some oh oh. oh. Anyway, I'll, I'll I'll do a video on that maybe. Anyway, ping pong two volumes complete on the We've got Vagabond, the greatest spines in the world. So I don't think I will be getting the new Vagabond definitive edition hardcover. 
maybe I'll get the first one and I'll I'll see. But I'm definitely never getting rid of these because look at these spines. Holy shit, that's orgasmic to look at. Ding dong. Uh, Azamanga Dao, one of my favorite mangas of all time. Uh, Azamanga Dao and Hunter Hunter are my top two. And that's a Death Note light novel that's actually really good. Um, whatever. Anyway, Toma Takano. Psyduck. Green Inkling Girl. Ham Taro. <laughs> we got Look Back, Solonin, Ayako, Akleyama. Message to Adolf, two volumes. Really good manga. I fucking love the uh, Good Night Pun Pun. It's also a really good manga. And here we have a double stack. Oh, I really like the way the double stack looks on this shelf in particular. The way it's like, it's a pretty short, you know, shorter shelf. The double stacking just really looks good. I might be, end up double stacking these two. But putting different stuff there. Probably putting JoJo's over here. Because I'm getting too much JoJo's. It's getting out of control. Anyway, let's just have a look. <clears throat> here we have Rosario Vampire and Rosario Vampire Season 2. The complete thingamajig. Um, yeah, it's um, it's okay. And Happy 10 Volumes. Complete thing. It's also good. I'm going to sit down for a second. <laughs> Ding dong. Uh, Girls und Pans are four volumes, which is complete. But then there's a little army spin-off, which I only have one volume. I need volume two, which I can't find. Uh, Cosmo Familiar. I must have bought that IRL because it was cheap. Candy and Cigarettes, five volumes. It was a series I was looking at. I was interested in reading online, but it never had an English release. But then it got a physical English release. So I've been buying them. Well, I'm a few behind. There's at least seven, maybe eight already out. Uh, how many is there total? Is it 14-ish? Anyways, Himato Omoro-chan, all 12 volumes plus the one volume spin-off. It's uh, pretty good. I read that a long time ago. Hello Melancholic, three volumes to complete Yui series. It's pretty good. Crossplay Love, Otaku X Punk. That's a new one that I've got and read. Uh, I started buying it like a late, late last year. And started reading it early this year. I actually really like it. Particularly the first few volumes was really good. Some of the later volumes are, are more hit or miss. But overall, I'm really liking that series. Uh, yeah. Anyways, coming down, down here, we have Blade of the Immortal. Sucks. Go watch my tear down of that shitty manga. You think it's good? You're wrong. Uh, we got some Dragon Ball shit here. Like, what, 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 what do we got here? What, what, we got some Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball, Yo Son Goku, and Fred's Return. Let's put those out of the way. We got one volume of Blackjack up there. It's pretty all right. Girls Last Two or Six Volumes Complete Ski. That is a phenomenal manga. I think I've underrated it in my own personal manga ranking list. I feel like I don't give it the respect it deserves. It's really good. Maybe I should reread it sometime. We've got Kimono Friends. We've got Satoshi Kon's Opus, which is drastically overrated, I think, by people that have actually read it. I think... I don't want to go into that again. I probably go into that every time I fucking get to it in a fucking manga collection. I feel like I say the same shit. Every fucking manga collection video. It's a bunch of fucking manga I haven't read, and then the manga I have read, I just say it's good or I say it's bad, and then if I ever go into details, there's always the same fucking shitty details. Anyway, it sells at work one volume. We got Harakana Receive, 10 volumes. It's a beach volleyball manga, but it's not that good, TBH. Uh, Our Dreams at Dusk, four volumes. It's okay, I suppose. Magia the Ninth, two volumes I bought in the store IRL because they were pretty cheap. And it's only two volumes. It's a complete thing. But I haven't read it still. So I don't know if it's any good. Hee! Tommy Chan is with Strangers. Nine volumes. Which is all that's out in English so far. It's ongoing. It's okay, I guess. The longer it goes on, I feel like the less I like it. I don't know. No, some of these fucking shit. I need to stop reading these shitty mangas like this. This Orange, oh, I got a lot of problems with Orange. Oh, but there's a new, another new volume. Like, you got the complete collection, but it's not complete, because then there was another one, like, final volume, and that's what I read at the time. But now, recently-ish, it might have been well over a year ago now, another new volume coming out in English. She's done it. I haven't read it because, I don't know, I've forgotten parts of this, so I don't know if I can just jump into this and read it. 
I might need to reread the whole series to refresh my memory, but I really don't want to reread the whole series to refresh my memory. No matter what you say, Fury Sand is scary. Five volumes. I really like that one, and it didn't overstay its welcome. Five volumes. That's all we needed. Um, is there any actual manga down here? I guess there's a Dragon Ball art book. There's these thingamajigs, and more down there, and more I think in that box. Um, no, this is Tintin and shit. Hey, we'll stand back up. Oy, 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 oy. <laughs> Okay, let's go over here. Uh, there's no manga up here. Uh, this is the JoJo shelf. This is my escape plan when I finally... I'm fucking done with this shit when I'm finally at my wit's end. That's, that's, that's my exit strategy when I finally am going to end a manga Tuesday. Once and fall. Anyway, I've got parts four, five, and six there because i really like these spines better than the the, the jejonium spines i almost kind of wish when they finally catch up to date in 10 years and finish part nine that they just go back and remake parts one with just you know two volumes and every volume and with similar sort of spines anyways whatever look how much better these spines are than these ones and the covers are better too because it just has the actual like these are all, these are first of all aren't two in ones they're like they're not even consistent. It's not like they're all one and a half. Some are like one and a half. Some might be two. Some are like one and point one. Some are like one point seven. Like it's a complete mismatch. The first three parts, but these they they do two for every one, except for sometimes the last one only has one because it's an uneven. It's an odd number of volumes, but two for every one. The front is one of the volumes, and the back cover has the art from the other volume, and it's not necessarily like. This one, yes, this is volume one and this is volume two, but it's not always like that. Like for the next for the next one, this could be volume four and this could be volume three. I'm not sure. I think this one is also this is volume three, but they don't it's not like whichever volume comes first has to be the cover. They just pick they just pick whichever one they want, which is better, whichever whichever cover they like best for the front. And then the other one will be the one on the back. Anyway, I found this thing on the beach the other day, so that was cool. I like that. Anyway, coming on down, we have What's Michael? Fat Cat Collection, two volumes. It's a really funny cat manga. It's just absurd in ways. It takes Michael, but it puts him in different scenarios. But it's like different cats, but they're all Michael. But it's like different origins. It's like a, it's like a Michael multiverse, really, is what's going on here. And some of them, he's just a regular cat. And some of them, he's like a a humanoid cat thing and you just gotta it's just it's just some classic it's a classic gag manga and it's hamtaro time we got more jojos up here because i'm running out of fucking space for fucking jojo shit just camera out of focus we got dragon ball all 42 volumes in viz big form i've also got Roroni kenjin one two three and two volume fours so i need to sell one of them because it just happened like that. Fist of the North Star 1 volume. Anyway, yeah. I, I've slowly started collecting uh, Veroni Kenshin in Viz Big. I want to read it. Uh, I'm sort of at an impasse. Some of the later volumes get particularly hard to get. I probably should have just waited and found one and brought them all together. But I think what I'm probably going to do is just buy the three-in-ones, the cheaper three-in-ones. Unfortunately, they are, like, way shorter. So that won't really look good together. But I'll probably just buy them and use those to read the manga. And then... Over the next 10 years of my fucking life, I'll keep an eye out and slowly maybe collect the rest in Visbig form. We'll see. Anyway, we're going here down to my Naoki Urafawa self. We've got all the volumes of 20th Century Boys. As you can see, if we sort of step back, it's kind of got a connecting image on there. Can you see that? See that thing on there? Anyway, we've got Monster... All the volumes. This one's super faded for no, for no good reason. I don't, I don't know. And we got all volumes of Pluto, and we also got a German volume of Vinland Saga, volume seven. I really like this cover. Canute. Anyway, 
and we got a what's my caller and we're sitting down just for this bottom shelf here we got all of we got dragon ball volumes one and volume 42 i believe this is the oldest printed manga i own printed in 80 something it's not a first edition but it's yeah anyways i'm getting low energy again i'm gonna have to force another shit out but I don't know if I got it in me. <laughs> oh, what a stupid thing to say. What a fucking reason. What a fucking... <sighs> I don't even know, man. I don't even know. I need to take this fucking hat off. It's sucking my energy. <sighs> no, I need it back on. I need it back on. I need it back on. I feel I'm dying without it. <clears throat> Holy dooly. What do we got? All 13 volumes of the Vinland Saga fucking two in ones. Uh, we might get a 14 in a year and a half. Oh, we got Planet Tests by the Vinland Saga guy. It's all right. Death Note short stories. They see the C, the C Cure story. I think it's C Cure. The one with Trump in it. Uh, I can't remember if that's A-Kira or C-Kira, but C-Kira is actually a really good short story. I really like it, and they really fuck over C-Kira, that was the problem. It's the, the very ending. The Shinigami basically rage quits, gets mad because the, the C-Kira actually outsmarted him. So he literally, he literally, spoiler alert, he literally just gets mad and adds a fake rule, a new rule to the Death Note without telling the kid like, the kid beat the Death Note. He he abided by all the rules of the Death Note, figured out a way to use it to his advantage to make a bunch of money, also to get money for his family. And then the, 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 the shit of fucking Gami cunt didn't like that. Ryuk didn't like that. So he's like, I'm just going to add a rule, and now the kid dies. Fuck you, cunt. But it's a really good story. Uh, the Complete Flowers of Evil is really good. Four by Monimus, Mobile Suit Gundam Origin. Down here is mostly comics. We do have a Card Cap of Sakurai Collector's Edition 1 volume. Oh, what a beautiful looking cover. Um, Ghost in the Shell. Uh, Jojo Art Book. Um, ah, Junji Ito's Cat Diary, the, co the Collector's Edition. And we also have the Oren High School Host Club box set that I bought because I thought Woody liked it and I trusted his opinion, but I think he was actually praising great teacher Onizuku. Uh, yeah, I got, I got my wires got a little confused, um, but I started to buy it anyway. I've only read the first volume, but it seems like it might be okay enough. Anyways, it's time for everyone's favorite weekly segment. How wait, sorry. It's time for everyone's favorite weekly segment. How was the latest Hunter Hunter chapter? <laughs> latest chapter 407 was actually probably the worst of the latest batch of chapters. Um it wasn't terrible, it was just it was really just a setup for the following chapters it was really an, it's a fucking the whole chapter was just an explanation explaining the rules to some convoluted complicated not that complicated but card game thing that yeah i don't know if it even needed that that long of an explanation necessarily but um i don't know uh, anyway we'll, we'll see how things go i'm sure the next chapters will be much more interesting again uh but anyway, let's get let's get on with the, the collection. We've only got this shelf. We've got the two white shelves left to go. Um, I guess we'll start with this one. This is the one I've added shelves to. I've added extra shelves. You'll see there's not much space. Uh, anyways, <clears throat> up the top there we have uh, the Death Note box set. And over here we have vinyls. We have some vinyls up top there. I just show you because anyways 
Coming on down, we got all of My Hero Academia up to date, or I could be one volume behind. I was thinking of reading it this year, or even maybe last year I was considering reading it. But then I thought, oh, I've heard it's maybe close to finishing, so maybe I'll wait. And now it has finished, so I will wait until early next year when The Last of the Volume comes out, and then I'll binge read the whole thing. I've watched the first few episodes, seven or eight episodes of The Friend's House once, and it was good enough that I'm, whatever, I'm sure it's fine enough. Might not blow my mind, but I'm sure I'll enjoy it enough. Kaiju number eight, one volume. Kaiju Zombie Love is War, two volumes. Uh, oh, Summer Teacher, one volume. Mr. Bump. Coming on down, we got Yu Yu Hakusho, all 19 volumes. It's uh, it's all right. Teething Mustard, the Gaki. Mm, what do we got here? Some Steel Ball Run, Japanese manga. We got Girls Mode, which is a manga based on Style Savvy, also known as New Style Boutique. I've played the third one a bunch. It's actually a good game. I like it. On the 2DS. Uh, anyway, so this manga is based off... This manga is um, based off of that, uh, but it's in Japanese, so I don't, I don't know. The manga's probably shit. I just got it because I wanted it. A Girl on the Shore, Full Metal Alchemist, The Thingamajig, Furari, get the fuck out of the way. Tizzy Master Nagagi san, all. All? 19 volumes? No. There's a 20th volume, which I think is the final volume. So that'll finally. I wonder if they'll. If in English they will start publishing any of like the the spin-offs i think there's a spin-off when they're adults that i don't know if it's made by the original creator or someone else i think there's also some spin-offs made by different people authored by different people i don't know anyway usually the pet bet seven volumes if you want to hear my full thoughts on that check out that manga tuesday uh there's a spin-off sequel series to this that's three volumes long which you can't find scans of online or at least i couldn't and doesn't have an english releasing looking at the amount of people that have added it on mail it seems like uh, maybe not a lot of people bought this or read it so it might not get it might not get a uh they might not ever print the next three volumes of the thing so you should buy it and read it to let Kandansh is it Kandanshna yeah let Kandanshna know I need the next three Kiko Chan two volumes might be the worst manga I've ever fucking read in my life Maroko Chan <laughs> two volumes anyway let's let's wrap this shit up let's fucking that's the timer. We're going to finish before that minute's... Well, we're obviously not going to finish for the minute. We might actually just stand here for a minute, take a breath and watch this and actually time it. Is it actually a minute or is it like 49 seconds? We'll come back to that. Kakuni Twine, two volumes. Kakaguri, 12 volumes. Uh, Kakaguri Twin, two volumes. Ahoy Girl. Uh, Blooming You, volume five. My favorite manga cover of all time. Get out of the way, though. Oop. Okay, um, what do we say? Ahoy Girl, 12 volumes, Connecting Spine. Uh, K-On, four volumes. I got two volume ones, because one of them, that's the one. Loot Crate, exclusive cover. Oh my God, the time is about to end. That's time. Time it, time it. We'll, we'll time it in post. Uh, we got K-On College, high school. Uh, you should definitely read K on College Spike. It's a really good continuation. Um, <laughs> we also got K on Shuffle, the first volume. I don't know where volume two is. It doesn't seem to be coming out. I thought it's... Uh, I don't know if this series has been abandoned already by the English publishers, but we'll see. Uh, Polar Bear and Love, five volumes. I've only read the first four because that was all that was out. And then years later, five finally come out, but I haven't read it yet. Bottomo. Uh, secretly, I've been suffering about being sexless, but it's not a secret. Asador, one volume. Oh, and Sneeze, Mirujirushi. This is another little Naoki Wathawa section. Asador looks really interesting. Uh, I haven't started reading it, but it's still ongoing, so I might try and wait till it's finished, because I feel like Uasawa's works in particular are really good to 
binge read the whole thing. Anyway, interviews with monsters one. Uh, here we have Jill Stingray. Let's get her out of the way. Uh, we have Soul Eater. I need to get more of that because I want to read it. Uh, My Broken Mariko, Shiva, Uzumaki, Akira Toriyama's Manga Theater, Thus Spoke Rohan Kashibi, A Bride Story, Transformers, the manga, three volumes, The Quest for the Missing Girl, The Record of the Glass Castle, Unfinished. You can see my views on it here if you really care. Uh, we'll come back to that little pile in a second. Sunshine Sketch, 10 volumes. Uh, chasing after Al Shiba four volumes was okay. It had a lot of potential, but yeah, the ending is a little interesting. I know I said I like the ending of Nameless Asterism, which I do, but this ending is just kind of weird and confusing in ways, and I'm not sure. I don't know if I really like it. It's a Yui series. Anyway, Wispy Me a Love Song, eight volumes. Uh, it's volume nine out, maybe. Not so sure. Mononoki Sharing by the Dragon Maid Guy. It's not so good. Uh... Especially compared to Ojojojo, which is also by the Dragon Maid guy. Ojojojo is actually the Dragon Maid guy's magnum opus. But Mononoki sharing is worse than Dragon Maid. Anyway, here we have more Japanese fucking Jojo shit. Or Steel Ball Run. That's not... That's... What's her name? I like that colour. With the graffiti and her kicking you in the face. That's cool. Oh, and... Uh, okay, that's from part 8. And then we got one from part 9. So I got one from each part, at least. Anyways, uh-oh, Stinky, sitting down now. Oh, we got Kakohara's fetish notebook uh, in. <laughs> I better not open that up. But it's uh, actually a very funny manga. It's a Yui manga. It, it's, 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 you gotta look past. Uh, it's not, it's it's actually a hilarious gag manga. Uh, anyway, we've got Nisekoi, Your Name, and the Your Name spin-off. We've got one volume of Fairy Tale. We've got 15 volumes of Library Wars. Really like those colour spine. This is sort of our little red section we got going on down here. Library Wars. And this complete ski. It's pretty good. It, I feel like this, I really like sort of the whole setting and the whole, the sort of the, the, the basic, basic sort of storyline that's driving the plot. But really it's... The real plot is the romance between the characters, which is, I don't know, I'm less interested in that. It's also good. I really like the, the main girl character. She's very interesting. Um, but I feel like, I don't know, there's some missed opportunities. Like, the, the story could be better than what it is. Um, but it's still pretty good. Uh, the Elusive Samurai, Red Hood 3 volumes, it was canned, but it actually made the manga better because it gets all meta in the third volume. Uh, Orient 1 volume, Tramps Like Us 2 volumes, Anonymous Noise 2 volumes, Popcorn Romance, it's a one and done ski, Daytime Shooting Star 1 volume, Alice in Kyoto Forest 2 volumes, it's a really good manga, big time recommend, you can see my thoughts on it here, but we're moving on, Spy Family 1 volume, you can see my thoughts on it here, but we're moving on, Cherry Blossom, what is this called, uh, Kisses and White Lily from My Dearest Girl, I read the first four volumes and then stopped, and it started the great manga uh, hiatus of 2021, where I barely... It was the great reading hiatus of 2021, really. But I went back and reread the whole thing, was it uh, last year? Man, those, I really like the spines with the flowers. It's cute. I like cute things. Anyways, um, it's actually really good. It's probably one of my top ten favorite Yu-Gi-Oh! series. Uh, anyway, down here we have all of Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, just, yeah, the, 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 the OG Yu-Gi-Oh! And here we have all of Parasite. Really nice. I love Parasite. It's one of my favorite mangas. Um, 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 it's like top uh, 20, I guess. Um, There's the new colored editions. And that's why I haven't been buying them, because they're colored. I don't really want it colored. I like the black and white simple artwork. I don't like color when it's just added in post fucking years later. I don't even think about the original guy. Like, no, fuck you. If there's a color chapter that was originally drawn and released in color, then yeah, I want that to be colored in my books, even though a lot of times they're not. But I don't, I don't want these <clears throat> colors added in post. But the parasite, the new, first of all, the hard covers and the spines spell out big P A R when put together, and it does look really beautiful. It's very tempting just to get those spines, but I don't think I can financially justify it 
Anyway, we got three volumes of After Hours. It's a Yui manga that's pretty bad. Uh, we got a Full Metal Alchemist light novel that come with the box set, but it's not in the box set because I guess it was too tight once I had read uh, the rest of the manga and the books expanded slightly. Anyway, we got a Miku manga that I haven't read. It's cute. Coming on down, we go. Uh, what have we got over there? Oh, we got one volume of Sailor Moon. We got a Super Mario manga that maybe I'll review one day, and Mario Gets Revenge 3 will actually happen, and then I can finally move on with my life. <laughs> stuck in a rut ever since i decided to do that it never come to fruition i'm just running in circles anyway i've got blue box volume one hulk volume one we never learned volume one high school debut volume one shortcake cake volume one pretty face all six volumes but i haven't read it uh diary of a minecraft zombie volume one if you want to hear my full thoughts on that you're weird um <laughs> How do we relationship 10 volumes? I wonder if a volume 11 is out yet. Kubo won't let me be invisible 12 volumes. That is the complete thing. Shy 4 volumes. I thought I bought volume 5. Maybe I didn't. It hasn't arrived yet. Cross game 6 and 7. I need to get the rest of cross game so I can read it. But I think a lot of volumes are out of print. Uh, anyway, we've got the Akira box set. It's the greatest bo manga box set of all time. If you haven't heard of the Pandora Hearts box set. I also had the Akira paperbacks that I had before. And that's how I read Akira. And then I loved it so much. And the box set got a reprint. I'm like, I gotta get this. And now I think the reprint of the box set is still available to this day. So I didn't have to rush to get it, but I did. But I've been meaning to reread it, but the box set version, because it, uh, the paperbacks are flipped. You know? you know how manga is traditionally now always released in the original... Uh, right to left, same way it is in Japan. They just leave it. But these versions were flipped left to right, so the artwork is all like mirrored essentially. And I think the sound, I think the uh, the uh, what do you, what the, the, the sound effects and stuff are translated? Maybe like the artwork is translated, which I don't like. It's just unnecessary. I don't need the Japanese characters to be changed to a kaboom. I, I don't need that. I think in the I think here it retains the original and probably just has a little asterisk to the side that tells you this one says kaboom it's like okay which is better i like that and it's and it's and it's the original orientation so when i reread akira i'll reread it with these hard covers in here but we're on to the final shelf so i think this manga collection video is gonna actually be the worst one even worse than the, the worst one that was the worst one I, I really am not maybe i should stop doing these every year there's not, there's not that much to update. Anyway, let's come on over here. Past this thingamajig and let's just rush through this super quick. I got one volume of City in Japanese because I really like the cover. It's just cute. And I really like City. <clears throat> anyway, in Daily Lives of High School Boys, seven volumes. Weathering with You, three volumes. We got all 13 volumes of City. I actually think it's better than Nichiju. And the reason I mention that isn't just to attack Nietzsche Jew, it's because it's by the same creator as Nietzsche Jew. <laughs> anyway, we've got Don't Toy With Me, Miss Nagataro, all 16 volumes. Oh, I might not have read the 16th one yet. I might have to hear, but isn't Nagatoro finished? Is 17th the last volume, or is it like 19 or something is the last volume? Huh, I think it's I think it's officially ended in Japanese, so it must be, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, I've got Mermaid Prince, a collection of short stories. I read online before there was ever even announced a physical release, but now I have the physical release. The God's Lie, it's really good, and The Golden Sheep is also really good. Uh, Voices of a Distant Star is, okay, I guess five centimeters per second is really good. I've also now got, oh, I've also got a, oh wait, what's this? Oh, this is, a, I guess, a novel version of 5 centimeters per second. But also, here is the a novel spin-off from a different perspective. But here is the deluxe version of the manga. It's the same height, same size, but it's got a new cover, which is actually way better. Um, what do you think? The, the cover for this one isn't bad, but I, I feel like this one's way cuter looking. It just works better. Also, this one's hardcover. But I don't know if the translations have been updated or not. I don't think they really needed to be. But um, I've been wanting to reread this since I've got this. But I still haven't got around to it. Uh, we've got Blood on Track 1 volume. <clears throat> Coming on down here, we've got a clown that... Uh, let me turn this. Holy sh... <clears throat> anyway, we've got Comey Can't Communicate. 
30 volumes. Um, 30 ones probably in English now, I don't know. I haven't read the last few. Uh, Hollow Live X Meeting, Volume 1. Deadpool Samurai, two volumes. Case Closed, Volume 1. Nozoka the Valley Box Set. It's um, an okay manga. The manga... <laughs> The Manga Guide to Statistics, The Manga Guide to Physics, The Manga Guide to Calculus, The Manga Guide to Linear Algebra, and Hitler! I went on a big rant about that manga last collection video. They got sped up most of it. And I don't have the energy now to go on about it again. Pop Team Epic. Love Hina, all 14 volumes. Because You Smile, Those With Wings, all 6 volumes. Midori Days, all 8 volumes. And just, this is my little Chung Yi section. Uh, then we got Gabriel Doff. <sighs> Gabriel Dropout, 13 volumes. Have I read the 13th volume? Or did I? I. Wait, wait, wait. No, I think maybe I did read it. Yeah, yeah. Saturn is epic. Satan here, so uh, maybe maybe the 14th one I like ordered online and it hasn't arrived yet. Maybe that's what's confusing me. Uh, anyway, we got one volume of Splatoon Dragons Riding. You're, you're in April because I'm the goddess. Three volumes actually pretty good. If you want to hear my full voice of Splatoon, I did a uh, anyway. We got a uh, Helvetica Standard Bold. Italian and italic and we've got the only good joke coming up in this entire video, but it's not a joke. It's for real But it's the only it's the only thing I'll be put <laughs> Just fucking say the line Happy manga Tuesday. All you need is kill uh, Complete omnibus. We got scumbag loser. Hey, I didn't know they made a manga about me Anyways, um, complete on me. Paradise Kiss, another Kaiju, My Dress Up Darling, two volumes, Yui Life. Can you guess that's a Yui fucking manga downfall? Hey, I didn't know they had a manga about me. <laughs> Used books, Grand Blue Dreaming, uh, Shigamori is not just a cutie, 17 volumes. That series is finished in Japanese, so we should be getting the last ones in English soon. So I can just finish it off because I'm fucking done with it. It's okay, but I'm, I, I like it less and less of each new volume. Uh, pink was okay. It was interesting. I'm sitting down now. Cross-legged, of course. Farewell, my altar. Bat manga. Catch these handful volumes. Complete Yui series. A really nice Yui series. I really like it. It's a little different and it's good. The Girl Who Leapt Through Time. The manga sucks. Just please just watch the movie. Maybe after you've watched the movie. Read the manga. Don't do what I do and read the manga first and think, oh, this sucks. And then four years later, finally, um, watch the movie and I realize it's actually good. Oh, don't worry about those uh, mangas. Uh, next to what I didn't realize they were on camera. That's, uh, that's just for an epic bit. That hasn't been revealed. Phoenix, six volumes. I bought volume seven and then it never arrived. Uh, volume eight and 12. I've actually read the first six. Uh, I finally read them, but now I'm at the point where I have to start reading them online and it killed my motivation, so I put it on hiatus for now. Barakamon, one volume. The Conditions of Paradise. Uh, I don't know if that's a one. I don't know what the deal is. I think there's more of them. I don't know fucking remember but i read this one kindred spirits is a spin-off from a novel uh, a spin-off from a visual novel game that i started playing but uh rent a girl i don't even know why i bought rent a girl someone i saw uh, another manga creator was praising it they're probably praising it as a joke i didn't realize at the time i don't know so i bought a couple and then i was at the stage where i was like oh i should buy each new one as it's released because i guess they were only maybe just starting to release them in english at the time uh, but at some point, I come to my senses and stopped buying them, but it uh, it took too many. So, Killing Me, one volume. Cavill and Tuesday, one volume. Undead Unluck. My Heavenly Hockey Club, eight volumes. I think there's a couple more volumes of that that... Wait, yeah. I think there's a couple more volumes, at least, that there's no physical English release for. I have to get online, although I can't remember exactly. Anyway, In You Bark, at two volumes. Yui Best on three volumes, The Quintessential Queen Problems, one volume, The Life-Changing Manga of Tidying Up. That didn't work. 
Uh, Berserk, three volumes of the thing before I got the thing. Um, Tomodachi X Monster, I found uh, some of these IRL for super cheap. And I got some online for super cheap. Grace Rosa. This one I bought in a store just because I like the look of it. And it's one volume. I think it must have been canned. Although it does actually have an ending, like it wraps things up, but it seems to wrap things up way faster than it was originally intending. But even still, it's a pretty good, solid manga. Anyway, that's pretty much everything. There's a couple more things I gotta quickly show, and then I can just end the video. I got a, I got a couple of volumes in the mail just the other day. Plus, I got one volume that's in. I know it's in a different spot that I mentioned earlier. Do you remember what it is? Let's go. <laughs> Fucking collide already. Fuck it, no, okay. Ooh. Ooh. And then that was my manga collection. 2024, 1800 plus volumes. Did I bother doing fun facts or was I too lazy? Did I keep a running tally perhaps of how many volumes I've read and how many volumes I haven't? In which case, would I be revealing the final total now of read and the final total now of unread and that's thus the final percentage of what I've read? Or did I more likely not bother doing it? Maybe I'll, I'll save that for next year for the 10th, my 10 years of collecting manga collection update video because I guess we'll have to do one next year too. Uh, uh, oof, uh, whatever. Uh, thanks for watching. And as always, we're doobin' now. Bye-bye life. It's just another Tuesday. <laughs> I think I'm gonna die. 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 Bye bye my life. Bye bye my life. Goodbye. Bye bye my life. Goodbye. I think I'm gonna die. I feel like I'm gonna die. I think I'm gonna die. I feel like I'm gonna die. Man, I'm fat as fuck. I am gonna die. Um, uh, yeah, do I, do I need to say anything else? Probably not. I mean, probably, but probably who gives a fuck. <laughs>